What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and me, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, because I, I hope you did ask. But I'm here with Kalsia and Brian Fury, and today we're going to do a uh, character counter episode. It's been a while, and we're gonna take a look at Brian Fury. It's a character a lot of people have trouble with. I think it's the most misunderstood Tekken character out there. A lot of people think he is easy, he's not, he's actually very difficult. But if you do play uh, against Brian, if you play his game, he's going to destroy you very easy. It's just a few things you gotta keep in mind. And then suddenly the Brian player is like, he just doesn't understand what he's supposed to do. It suddenly becomes very difficult. So we're gonna look, take a look at the rules you need to keep in mind while fighting Brian. But the first thing you have to do, especially if you're at, uh, you're probably at beginner and intermediate, the, the, this is, I'm dedicating this video to you guys. So first off, you need to learn to block the snake edge. So what you do is you go to practice mode, you go into defensive training, repeat action, uh, and you, no, you set, oh sorry, I uh, tagged two uh, in my head. You set the CPU action to repeat action, and then you record four different options, and one of them being the snake edge. And here, you just have to make sure you can read the animation. You're going to... Brian has played quite a bit, so you're just going to have to stay here in practice mode and keep doing this, because he, he will randomly use one of these four moves at all times. So randomly he will do the snake edge, and here, you, you just have to be able to block it on reaction. You have to be able to do this. If you cannot do this, then of course, you're one of those players where, if you fight the Brian, his orbital up forward 4 mid launcher and his snake edge turn into a legitimate 50-50 on you. And that is unacceptable. You can't have that. That's dumb. So, um, make sure you're able to do that. And then I would also advise you to go into input delay. This simulates lag, it's in other settings, and set this to four. If you're able to do this here in four, you stand a good chance. Three bars, it suddenly becomes next to impossible. You can do it if you have absurdly fast reflexes. I don't, I'm very average in reaction speed when I've done uh, online tests. Uh, but four bars here, uh, you should be able to do this. This is already with some delay. Oh shit, I, I ate it. Uh, it's, uh, to be honest, yeah, four bars already. You gotta be fast. But I can do it most of the time. But uh, once you have this under your belt, you're much more ready to fight Brian. And now it's another thing you have to keep in mind. We're going to the next rule here. Is that don't try and rush Brian. Do, do not try to... Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna take away the lag. Thank you. Then we're gonna remove these. Don't try and rush Brian because his keep out is so good. You've seen the 3 plus 4. Uh, this move is insane in keeping you away from him. His magic 4 is also very strong. Ford Ford 4 is a monster of a move. Uh, it, uh, it evades, it, it's almost like a parry where it sidestep evades almost everything you throw. And if he counter hits you with this, uh, the damage is, is just absurd. Uh, so Br Brian's keep out is enormously strong, uh, and then um, oh oh fuck! I, I almost forgot to mention his the best one of the best keep out tools in the game, the orbital, which can be done forward or just uh, up. You know where he doesn't have forward momentum, he just jumps up and does it. So this keep out is insane. Don't rush into Brian uh, and his counter hit game. You know, Ford 3, Magic 4, all of this, uh, and Ford 3, his counter hit game is insane. So again, don't rush into Brian. So again, 
Learn to block Snake Edge on reaction. Don't rush into him because that's exactly what he wants. He wants you to push button so he can counter hit you. If you turtle versus Brian, and you can block the Snake Edge on reaction, all Brian has to scare you with suddenly is he doesn't have a quick, a good quick mid like a down forward one. Brian's down forward two is 13 frames, but it's minus six on block. There's no way to keep momentum with this. And both of these options put him at risk. So again, let him come to you, and up close, he's just not that scary. Uh, all he has is a weak 50-50 with the hatchet kick. And sure, the hatchet kick adds up, but most Brian players, <laughs> they're actually not able to execute this well and quickly. And again, he needs a counter hit to get the decent damage from that. So, his 50-50 is just not very scary. You know, Brian, high degree of space control. You know, don't rush him, counter hits are crazy. And his moves have a lot of reach, like 3 plus 4, 4 for 2. He has the best homing moves in the game, almost. Uh, you can argue this with 1 plus 2. Ford Ford 4. Uh, keep in mind the snake edge is a homing move. Down Ford 4 is a homing move. But 1 plus 2 is so good. So it's like his space control is great. Don't try and sidestep Brian. Don't try and rush Brian. Let him come to you, and all he has to scare you with, if you don't press buttons, is this hatchet kick. He can also try and throw you. But all he has is normal throws, and then 1 plus 2 command throws. This is it. So, if you really want to make it hard for a Brian player, just block, turtle him, don't press buttons needlessly, try and press, uh, punish him when he leaves himself open, and don't be afraid to pressure him once you're up close, because... All of this stuff is kind of sluggish, like his down for one. Uh, but down for two is not sluggish, of course. It's it's good on counter hit, but he can't pressure you with these moves. He can't pressure you like this uh, unless he takes risks. And uh, so yeah, I would say uh, try and keep up close, pl play turtle. And once you feel like, oh, it's my turn now, just pressure him up close. And don't use too many lows due to the orbital. Using lows versus Brian is always very risky due to the orbital. Um, and then... Uh, I mean, th those are the general rules in this matchup. Um, so, before I give you just a few details, I'm just going to reiterate what you've said. Learn to block the snake edge on reaction, that is step one. Don't rush him down due to great keep out and great counter hit game. Uh, wow, that was sexy. Counter hit game and keep out. Don't try and sidestep Brian too much because his homing and tracking is almost like no other characters. It is very strong. So again, don't rush him down, don't try and sidestep him, because if you just hold your guard, all he has is a hatchet kick, if you know to block the snake edge. So that's where you want to minimize his options to where he, he has to go up against you and try to stress you with 1 plus 2 breakable throws and a hatchet kick. And to be honest, most a lot of Brian players just lack the execution to be to do the hatchet kick quickly in succession like this. It is a quarter circle back free input. It might sound easy, but most people have trouble with that. Uh, and a few details I do want to look at is um, if he spams down for to one against you, and there's a good chance he does that. Remember that the second hit is a high. It is a natural combo, but if he spams that, try and duck the second hit and punish him. And most people let Brian players get away with down for two free, uh, for free. This is minus 13. Uh, so try and punish. It has some pushback on block. So with Kaz, yeah, down for four four is a good option. Uh, you see one plus two whiffs. 
I think back one two also whiffs here. Yes. So down for 4-4 four, four is a great option here. And it's the same versus Geese down for 1-4. Use Kazuya's down for 4-4. Four, four. So with your character, find the best punish here. And don't let them get away with that shit. Uh, and of course, in certain matchups, you know, Brian is just fucked. Like, a turtling Kazuya, I mean, how do you even play with, Ka uh, with Brian in this matchup? The problem is, well, yeah, all you have for a good low to build momentum is the hatchet kick. And that's minus 13. So Kazuya, he can turtle you. Ah, you're not getting any counter hits. I won't let you keep out troll me with orbital. I'll just block like this. And eventually, you're going to have to throw that hatchet kick. And the risk reward is entirely in my favor. If I eat that, sure, you get, what, 20 damage plus frames. But if I block that, I get a full combo. And this can include walls. Oh, I just dropped it, but yeah. Uh, you understand like how, how vulnerable Brian can be if you understand the matchup. Um, and then, let's see. Quarter circle back four is something they can use, uh, they like to use on wake up when you've tech rolled. Um, expect, you might expect a hatchet kick and duck. Uh, this is minus 12. Please make sure to punish. It doesn't have any pushback. Make sure to punish every time. Uh, and lastly, I want to show down for one, 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 or down for one, 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 one. So, this is launch punishable, minus 15. Oh, I, I'm fucking it up. Wow, I didn't launch. That was a punish. It's kind of hard to judge the block stun. There we go. Nee thought he could bully main man with Brian? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, just remember that. Down for 1, 1, 1, 1, 2. It's not minus 12, it's minus 15. So if you play, you have a hop kick, do your hop kick. It will launch. Uh, make sure to punish that shit. Um, I would also advise you, a lot of Brian players, especially in beginner and intermediate, have a hard time doing jet upper due to the awkward input. Uh, test them and see if um, they don't do that. Uh, or <laughs> if they do do that. If they don't, you can abuse... Uh, I, for, for example, with Kazuya, can abuse um, uh, while standing 2. It's minus 18. But if you don't jet upper me, I'll just abuse... This move becomes broken if you don't jet upper me. Uh, so I'll just... I'll do it for free. Because the orbital is 20 frames. Or 21, 22 frames. So... Um, or you play Negan. Forward 1 plus 2. Launching Power Crush. Minus 15. If he doesn't jet upper, go with it. Just go with it. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. Um... And he has no strings, really, to threaten you with. If Brian players are using strings, just hold back. We are no scary lows in the strings. Um, and I think that's it, to be honest. Those are my uh, general rules in fighting Brian. So I hope this video helped you, and I hope you have a lovely day.